good morning. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God, we we thank you for this morning. We thank you for your hand of protection over us. Lord, we pray that in this morning we will be able to focus on you and hear your your voice. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to read from Philippians chapter 4, from verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition and with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the God of peace will transcend all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice and the God of peace will be with you. A principle and all we know about him was that his surname was Rainey. Principal Rainey, a man of whom it was said that he probably goes to heaven every night and that that must be the reason why he's so happy every day. This man once said, Joy is the flag over the castle of your heart that announces to the world that the king is home. Joy is the flag over the castle of your heart that announces to the world that the king is home. Joy is a funny thing, isn't it? It is something that can be vibrant and fragile and something that could be quite whimsical at times. So what is it that we are called to do when we, uh, when we are called to rejoice always? What is it that we're supposed to, to hear when he says, rejoice in the Lord always, and I will say it again, rejoice. Does it mean that we have to go through, through life saying, Oh, awesome, I have a flat wheel. Fantastic, I've lost my job. I don't believe that's what, what he meant. I think that, that what it means is that in every situation, in every situation that we need to be able to find that deep and inner joy, that joy that is not, not connected to our circumstances or whatever happens in the world around us, but that joy that is there in spite of that joy that is there, that comes from, from following God's direction for our lives. That joy that comes from, from serving the God of gods. That joy that comes from, like Psalms 1 verse 1 says, a joy that comes from 
knowing the word. That joy, that joy that comes from Jesus himself. John chapter 10 verse 10 says, Jesus says, I have come that you may have light, life and that in abundance. But he carries on and he says something very important to us in, in John 17 from verse 13. And that, just to put it into context, at that point in time, Jesus knows that he's about to get arrested. And this is his prayer for his disciples. John chapter 17, verse 13. I am coming now to you, but I say these things while I am still in the world, so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. That they may have the full measure of my joy within them. That joy. That joy that comes from knowing that whatever happens, God is in control. That joy that comes from, from knowing that we know the King of Kings and that He's at home in our lives. May that joy tell the world around us that something is different. May that joy be evident to all. And so in, in every circumstance, whether good or bad, may we find a reason for a deep and inner joy. From a peace that surpasses all understanding through knowing Christ is here. Let us pray. Holy Lord, we thank you that you are for us, Emmanuel, God with us, and that in that we can find joy. Lord, we pray that you will remind us through your word on a daily basis the reason for our joy, so that people can see in our lives that you are at home in our lives that somehow the world may know that we are different because we serve you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a joyous week. God bless. Who taught the sun to stand in the morning And who told the ocean You can only come this far